If your Gary's mod looks like this disgusting pink and purple mess you can see through walls and there's error signs everywhere, you probably need Counter-Strike Source. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that in a completely legal and legitimate way. You're not going to go to any fishy websites. You're not going to download anything fishy. Everything you download today is going to be straight through Valve themselves. It's going to be as if you're downloading Counter-Strike Source. This is not illegal in any way. You're downloading a Counter-Strike Source dedicated server today which you're going to then mount to Gary's mod and it's all completely free. Let's get into it. So first things first, your Gary's mods open like I am, go ahead and close it. Go to your desktop or someplace and you're going to create a folder called Steam CMD. Go ahead and open up that folder. In the video description, you're going to find a link to this website developer.valvesoftware.com slash wiki slash steam cmd that'll be in the video description in case you didn't know valvesoftware.com is the official valve software website wow you're going to go from here and you're going to go ahead and download steam cmd for windows right here click on that that's going to download a zip file go ahead and open that zip file with whatever you'd like you're going to go ahead and take steam cmd.exe drag it and drop it into here you're going to right click inside of your folder and create a new txt document go ahead and rename this to css underscore textures dot bat then you're going to right click this file and click on edit in the video description you're going to find this mess just copy paste it from the video description i would include a link to download it but windows is smart and doesn't let you download these scripts since these can uh, if downloaded from a fishy source, these absolutely can screw up your PC. So let's talk about what it does so you know I'm legit. First, it's going to open up steamcmd.exe. It's going to then log in anonymously to the Steam Cloud. You're then setting a directory to install something to here slash CSSDS. It's just going to make a folder in here. It's then going to download and install Counter-Strike Source, and then it's going to quit the program. It's pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and double click that and you should get something that looks like this. The first thing it is going to do is update Steam CMD. Then it's going to log in anonymously, create a folder for the Counter-Strike Source dedicated server, and then it's going to download that server. While it's doing that, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the next step. Let's multitask. This will take a while. It's downloading an entire game. It's about two and a half gigabytes or so. So let's go ahead and open up Steam and right click on Gary's mod. We're going to click on properties. We're going to click on local files and browse local files. We're going to double click on Gary's mod, double click on CFG, and then you're going to find mount.cfg. The first time you go to open this file, Windows isn't going to know how to open it. Tell it to open it using notepad. First, it'll want to search the Microsoft store. Don't do that. That's bad. Bad things are on the Microsoft store. We don't want to use that. Just click the button that says to uh, browse for additional files like this, more apps, and choose notepad, and then click OK on mount.cfg. I was just showing you on this other one. Go ahead and open that up. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these two slashes. This is a comment. It's going to tell Gary's mod to ignore that line. The second thing is we're going to go ahead and select all this nasty stuff that's in here, and we're going to delete it. We're going to go ahead and keep these double quotes. It's very important that those are there. We're then going to go ahead and go back to Steam CMD. For you, this is going to take a bit longer, but for me, it downloads really quickly. We're going to open up the CSS DS folder, and by the way, you'll know when this is done because you'll double click on this folder and you'll see srcds.exe. That's just the uh, uh, source dedicated server thing. We're not even going to worry about that. We're going to double click on this Counter Strike folder, the C Strike folder. We're going to click up in the address bar, which will select everything in there for us so we can easily control C and copy it or you can right click and click copy. They do the same thing. Go back to mount.cfg. Inside of these double quotes, we're gonna go ahead and paste in what we got. This is gonna be a different directory for you, that's fine. But what's really important here is that we have this C strike. We wanna tell it to point here into the C strike folder, not into this folder. It needs to pull the textures straight from here, not from here. Once that's done, go ahead and save the folder or the file. It should say mount.cfg at the top, right? We're good. That means we edited the right file. If something else said this, you'd be in trouble. 
we're done by the way that's it we're going to go ahead and reopen gary's mod to verify that everything works according to plan we're going to go ahead and open a new game and test it on 67th way or whatever map you want also if you notice up here where we have counter-strike we now have all the counter-strike maps that's right mounting that gives us all the maps too so we don't have to worry about it but if we go back to our example that we used prior, 67th way, we'll be able to open this up and we will have no missing textures or errors. As you can see, we have no missing textures anymore. Everything is here exactly the way it's meant to be. And this was 100% free and legitimately done using Steam CMD, which is a command line interface for Steam. It's legit and free. And you don't have to navigate to any shitty websites that's going to get your computer infected with a virus or anything crazy. This just works. If you ever reinstall your Gary's mod or anything, you're not going to have to redo this entire step. You're only going to have to redo one step. You'll just have to redo the mount.cfg. It's really easy. If at any point in this video you got stuck, make sure you pause. You can always rewind. There's nothing stopping you. There's also a paper guide with pictures in the video description in case you need some extra detail on how to do something. Please note that I would include a download link to window, uh, the, uh, the batch file, the CSS underscore textures dot bat, but Windows doesn't like downloading bat files. This is good because bat files can seriously mess up your PC if you're not careful from who you download them from. So that's why I just showed you what it did and I told you what it did. You know I'm legit. If you like this video, hit like. If you disliked it, dislike. Hit subscribe. Thanks.